Jenny. Got me a sidekick up here. I told Bestie to load and my my door was open so she jumps in. So I told her she could ride side saddle side saddles shotgun. She called shotgun. So this is funny. When my girls were very young, one was born on the second. Oh. Sorry, I lost my mic. One was born, when my girls were very young, one was born on the 2nd, and one was born on the 17th. So if it was an odd day, the one born on the 17th got to set up front. So there was never a fight who got to set up front. It saved a lot of conflict. So, if you have children that like to fight about who sets up front or whose turn it is to set up front, you know, I would... Um, encourage you to teach them what Jesus said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. You know, just teaching the principle of prefer others above yourself, be willing to give up an important seat for someone else. Now, Bestie says, I know I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm trying to get in the back, but I don't know how. Bestie, 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 she's the best one yet. We'll get you an ice cream. So, this was not on my list to do today. Uh, I had called Dimes Meat Market about some femur bones and they said $1.79 a pound. Do you know how big a femur bone is? Like, I'm 125 pounds. Uh, you're talking about a thousand pound or 800 pound and it's the leg bone. So anyway, I'll see how much this costs. Uh, they've laid some aside for me at Dimes Meat Market. So we're gonna run to Dimes and in Springdale, grab a Thai tea, run to the meat market, and then, so this was my point. Chewy.com does not have Yukonuba large breed puppy. I found some on Amazon for a mere $84, but they did not have it until September the 15th. Well, I called Chewy and they're getting their shipment back in the 15th. So I told Amazon, that's okay, no thank you. But anyway, I called the local store, which is not really that local anymore since I live in Huntsville, and they had two bags left. So I'm rushing over to purchase those because we have seven and eight week old puppies and this is what they're used to eating and you just don't wanna change their food before they go home. So I'm gonna run, and so I thought if I'm gonna be at the, it's called PetSmart. If I'm gonna be at PetSmart, I might as well bring somebody bring somebody with me to show off. It's been a month since Legacy. Well, that's not true. It's been three weeks since last Wednesday since we've been to town with him. So it's time he gets to town and does something. Oh my goodness. I've been on this brain. So I took two or three doses of this brain on, this E the letter E, the number three, live, L-I-V-E, or live, or whatever you want to call it. I guess it would be either live or live. I don't know. It's green and it's a liquid. Uh, anyway, I can definitely tell it feels good and I'm not hungry when I take it, so it must be nourishing my body. This lipstick is so cool. I have no idea where I got it. It has a heart. Can you see that? It has a heart in the middle of the lipstick. Anyway, I thought that was cool. Do you want some lipstick? Bestie, do you need some lipstick? Do you need some lipstick? Actually, my lips are just dry. So we're going to run to town. Though I'll probably feel like I have had enough of town after this weekend running to St. Louis Sunday, coming back Monday. Now, I started with one puppy, now I'm up to three. So by Tuesday, all the puppies will be gone. All the, well that's not true. The two I'm keeping, Hannah Bear and Honey Bear. 
which I still don't know who. I know who Hannah Bear is. I don't know who Honey Bear. Who is Honey Bear? Who is Honey Bear? So this is a brick times uh, Steffi, and Honey Bear and Hannah Bear are going to be a brick times Chip, and Chip and Steffi. Steffi's mom was Natalie, who was a Bliss daughter, and Chip is a Bliss daughter. So I just adored my Bliss. She's so precious. No, you lay down there. You wanted to ride shotgun, sit up there and take it like a woman. She goes, there's not very much room. You're right, there's not. I didn't lean that seat back. I didn't know you were going to be sitting there. So I heard from Bill today. He's headed to Biloxi, and... He said there's no one there in the Bull Mastiffs but him. So I shouldn't be envious that he's getting to go to the show this weekend. And I'm going to St. Louis. Anyway, we have too many puppies and too many pickups. I couldn't have left anyway. Tanya wanted me to do Elk City. How about that? It's okay. I'll take them off. These are my CNI glasses, though, and I am supposed to wear them when I drive. I'll just put that down. Tanya wanted me to do Elk City, Oklahoma, which is like almost New Mexico. No, thank you. And I declined. And I'm just not ready to get back out there and start showing right now. I've got some other things I need to do. Bestie has little nipples, like she is either pregnant or having a false pregnancy. And Bill and I have discussed this at length, that she, sh <laughs> that, he, that, Ma that she was in he when he had her with Max. But he promises me that there shall be no babies in the oven. Bestie, there shall be no babies in the oven. She's not a year old till the 8th. So I was saying this, I don't, I didn't upload anything last night, I'm sorry, it was after midnight and I just had to get up at 4 something, well 4.30. The puppy nanny said she'd be there at 5, she was there at 4.49 exactly. I'm like, ah. anyway, I was ready. It did take us probably, I don't know, 8 or 9 minutes to get those puppies loaded and everything situated, you know, but still. I respect that she wanted to leave early. Trinidad, I think, was her son's name that was with her. Never heard. I haven't. I've never known anyone personally with that name. So it has been a bit like a wild horse race trying to get these puppy packs. Totally. I mean, they are almost all together. It's just getting the microchip numbers on the shot records and they the girls did get the stickers on them the other day so um, I, it's not like I have them all done I do not when somebody comes I quickly get their pack together I know I'm trying here right man I was just thinking about I haven't got my income tax done yet either if y'all want to pray for something please pray for me um, I got a very nasty gram from my lovely accountant telling me that it is September. I need your information to fill out your income tax. <laughs> and it's just, I don't think there's like a, an hour or two worth of work to finish it up and get it to him. I just need to sit down and do it. I need someone to come hold my hand. Maybe I'll talk to my good friend that's good at this. And Although when my good friend comes over, all I want to do is, all we want to do is visit and pray and talk about Jesus and how good he is. We don't want to work on income tax. I don't know. So my help, oh my goodness, my kennel has never been so clean. If there's one thing this lady can do, she can clean. She can clean. And so we're working on... You know, there's a balance between uh, spending 30 minutes on something that should take 10 or 15 minutes. You know, we have to I have to juggle that, right? We can't just take a toothbrush to the puppy pens every day. We have to keep moving forward. But anyway, I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. I'm so happy. 
I like her so much and I think that if she's happy with me, I am definitely thrilled with the way that my kennel looks. So it's never been cleaner. You could almost eat off the floor. I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and that's how I like things. So if it just costs more to keep it the way I like it, that's how it's going to be. So Bestie's laid down, went to sleep. Yeah, I had had them out. Oh my goodness. I haven't had them out. Well, Bestie was in Florida, so she's been out. I did started doing nails. Speaking of nails, my poor, sad, sad, poor thumb smished, brutalized. He's actually a little better today, but oh, I didn't tell you. So I'm walking out with a bucket of water. I put the bucket of water down. I, I know what, how, or why I did this. I don't know. I hit my thumb as hard as I could against the framing of the door, and I cried. And my thumb cried, and we cried together. I'm like. I promise I don't have it in for you, little thumb. I just, I had it wrapped yesterday. Oh, it was wonderful. It had this big cushion on it. But then when I went to do waters last night, as soon as I got it wet, it fell off. So that didn't last long. But I really did like the cushion on it. It felt good because when I hit it, it was cushioned. I mean, you don't realize that you bump yourself all the time unless it's sore, right? I guess it's kind of like... And this is true in our lives when we have soul wounds, like something has wounded us, some situation, some, someone embarrassed us or intentionally or unintentionally humiliated us and, you know, caused a wound. Okay, so here's one that my sister has and that I be careful not to fall into this. Bank tellers, okay? I kid you not. I don't know, I can't put my finger on why, but uh, sometimes when I'm at the bank, I have to just pray, and usually it's fine, and the lady's nice, and like yesterday, it was yesterday or the day before, I ran by the bank, the day before when I got my haircut, and I cash a large check on someone else on his bank and I said would you count that for me and so she did in front of the window because I didn't want to sit there and count it uh, and anyway I, I don't know if I offended her you know so anyway anyway so <laughs> is it picking on me I'll pick on my twin sister so one time we're at a, we're at a dog show up in Joplin and they had the dog show at the convention center which the parking lot joined Sam's parking lot it so we did drive but you could have walked thought it was a huge parking lot there were hotels and that there are parking lot shared parking lots and Olive Garden was right there anyway we used to love to run up to Joplin in November and do their dog show so here we are in Joplin and the show was over. I don't know if we were waiting for a group or whatever. And so we decided to run over to Sam's, right? So we walk in the door. And this has been several years ago. We walk in the door and there's this little old short lady. And she says to my sister, may I see your Sam's card? Now, the lady gets paid probably not even minimum wage to stand at the door and ask to see people's Sam's card. But what my sister heard was, are you part of our club? This is an exclusive club and you have to have money to be in our club and I don't think you have enough money to be in our club. That, that's what my sister acted like. So this is what my sister said. I mean, slipped a cog, tore into that poor little old grandma, and she said, Why? You don't think I have enough money to shop here? I mean, I was ready to crawl under a rock, right? I was so embarrassed. And so, I'm saying all this not to make fun of my sister, 
But to say when someone touches a soul wound, it's like me hitting my thumb. Normally it wouldn't hurt, but my thumb is wounded and it hurts. And so that touched something in my sister and she just was, my mouth fell open. She wouldn't let it go. I mean, so the poor old lady is literally stepping backwards, right? She's stepping backwards and she's going, well, you're shaking her head no. You know, this is my job. I have to ask people when they come in, may I see your Sam's card? Oh, no. My sister wouldn't let it go. She chewed her up and spit her out. I was like, I finally just walked away. I just walked away. And my sister did not realize that was a trigger, right? That was a trigger for her that something in her soul was wounded and it made her feel like not enough or or uh, less than or like someone was saying she wasn't financially stable i don't know but she so i would just say in our lives we all all have soul wounds okay about different things or different degrees here's one of mine I will not get in a car in the summertime with the windows rolled up. I will not get in a car and shut the door because when I was a child, my real mother, so this was before I was six years old, would go to the square in Fayetteville when J.C. Penney's was on the square. And she, and, and you know, I don't, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I was very young, four or five. And she would make us stay in the car and we couldn't roll the windows all the way down because she was afraid somebody might steal us and it was hot and we had to stay in this hot car and I guess it wasn't so hot that we would die but I just remember as a child being very very hot and very uncomfortable and I wasn't able to roll the windows down I wasn't able to you know feel like I was getting enough oxygen and and this is really weird but she would we had this old brown and white or brown and tan station wagon she would make us lay down in the back supposedly so no one could see us right anyway i think finally my dad i don't know if my older sister told my dad about it and she quit doing that but so, so yeah i can have a little bit of claustrophobia when it comes to getting in a car and other people do that and even when my children were babies I would never put them in the back seat and shut the door with the windows rolled up or anything like that I would roll all the windows down I would start the car I'd get the air conditioner going before I put my babies in and I do it now with my dogs too especially the breed I have can't can't be hot so I don't know why I said all that just the, my point is we all have soul wounds and these triggers can offend other other people because we're acting a little out of the normal realm of that was painful right that was extremely painful so so it's good to get outside yourself carolyn dr carolyn leaf says there's a word for this you get outside yourself and you look you can observe yourself i forgot what that was called but anyway yeah 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 somebody's trying to turn left and they shouldn't be um and that's good to be able to observe yourself not just other people when they act this way so just kind of be aware of why something would trigger you to have a really emotional tumultuous tsunami right <laughs> of emotion coming up about different things and so anyway I thought that was interesting so I'm almost to town I'm gonna grab me a Thai tea and go get these femur bones and run get this dog food and head back so I can finish my puppy packs I tell you I feel fantastic I feel really really good brother came over but he jumped on the tractor to go brush hog for his mother my mother-in-law we all affectionately call granny so that's what he's doing tim did the health papers today on the chip litter 
I laid back down at five something. I laid back down. I was like, okay, I really, 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 really need to lay back down. So I lay back down till I don't know seven something from five till seven. That was a little after five. Tim got up at five and nursed his puppies. And I called him because he had one of his puppies kind of had a bit of diarrhea last night. So I called him and um, his puppy was fine. Move out around here. So my Cali litter is really stable. I'm not softening their food. Today was the first day I haven't softened food for them. And um, they're really doing good. They're eating, they're drinking, they're actually going in their box to go to the bathroom. Thank you, Lord. No, and I let them out all over the floor. They poop everywhere, but doing really good. Rosie, oh my gosh, she's so, she can be a little, talk about soul wounds. She can be a little intense. She took a toy outside and I went out to rescue the toy before she totally ripped it to pieces and she's jumping up kind of on me to get this toy. One time Tanya had, we had this little squeaker white mouse with, it was like a rabbit fur white mouse and a squeaker in it. And she had taken in this adult male Bordeaux. I don't know if it was her breeding or it may have been, but someone else raised the dog. And she was squeaking it and he was jumping and he bit her finger. And I see I didn't raise Rosie, so she's a very sweet dog, but it's not to say that even dogs don't have triggers. You know, that's how I got bit so bad was both times I got bit was a trigger. This dog had a trigger that I didn't know about, and I, t I touched the trigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, was I sorry. Soul wounds are real. So, you know, you think about this in animals. Think about bestie. Like, Juby is a heifer, and if I correct her, she's like, you're being mean to me. Huh? Well, quit doing stupid stuff, like jumping on me or putting your feet on me or trying to steal someone else's food. So, uh, Juby and I have never really worked this total thing out. It's better because she's inside all the time now. She had a hot spot on top of her head and I brought her in. Actually, I've got her on a little prednisone trying to f fix this hot spot on top of her head. It says it's 92. It really doesn't feel that hot outside. I mean, it feels hot, but it doesn't feel that hot. We've had a lot of cloud cover. Not high humidity. Hasn't felt bad at all. Um, But my point being, even animals, even I think about horses, maybe have had, a, have had a bad experience. Or I saw this Great Dane one time that slid down and injured himself on a slick tile floor, and then he was terrified to go in that room on the tile floor. So and it's not just humans that can be injured that affects our emotions. It's, it's animals too. There, can you not feel that? I turned that down, didn't I? Well, let me sign off here. I don't know. I went blah, blah, blah for 20 minutes. I don't know if I've said anything worthy of saying, but the sun is shining and it is a gorgeous day. So pink brindle girl and yellow brindle girl from the Popper Litter left at 449 this morning for way up north. And my fabulous friend Dave, who has had tubal masses for me, one is still alive is driving down from north of Indianapolis and picking up his boy and taking another boy back for me. Thank you, Lord. So that was, he's such a cool, amazing guy. That was amazing that he would do that. And these people that are coming this weekend to get giggles, they are taking the puppy back to Colorado because we didn't have any way to get this puppy to Colorado. So that was amazing. Thank you, Lord. So it's going to be different. These 25 puppies are going to be gone home, except my Hannah Bear and Honey Bear. So this, so Stacy's going to name her girl a uh, Red Ruby or Ruby Red. And so I said, oh, we should name one. There's no place like home and call her Ruby for Ruby Red Slippers, right? 
So I named that girl that came back, I named her Lonely Creek's Pathway to Home. And Rachel wanted to name a dog, and her name is Kiala. So K-E-A-L-A, Kiala. Well, I am at my favorite noodle bar who has a fabulous Thai tea. And after so much green, I am not hungry, but I am thirsty. So I'm going to slip in here and grab me a Thai tea. I should have called them and had it ready. They're so funny when I call. Yes, Sonia, what do you want? <laughs> and a lot of people that know me, I haven't been in a couple weeks, so I haven't been anywhere. I was just thinking Tim and I hadn't been out on a date and well, probably nine weeks since the puppies were born. So, all right, signing off. You guys have a fantastic close to weekend.